in case any of y'all have been living under the rock for the past week or so, um, y'all probably heard that the Seattle Seahawks are not going to sign Colin Kaepernick. And instead, they go pick up a, new, a nobody by the name of Austin Miles or whatever the hell his name is. I'll get into the conversation later. But Pete Carroll, to me, has always been sort of a yellow, yellow belly coward. And and I say that, and I'm and I'm saying I'm really saying that real, real blunt. You know, if anybody that has watched watched football for the past several years, I mean, I ain't talking about his previous pro career in the NFL when he was coaching the Jets and all that other stuff like that. No, not that. No, I'm talking about when his college time when he was up there at USC. That's when Reggie Bush and um. Matt Liner and all over there. Like when they won the championship and or co shared it, I don't know how that turned out. But the point is Reggie Bush won the Heisman trophy that, that year. And it was um some uh gifts that were received to make sure that Reggie Bush gets it. And when the NCAA sanctions started to come down as started to come down and Reggie Bush had to get a Heisman back Pete Carroll like resigned and he took off and ran to where he's at now and that's Seattle okay and Reggie Bush he's still suffering from um still paying for that for that debacle uh, ever since now when he gets to Seattle as of right now 2014 Super Bowl Against the against the new cheating Patriots, everybody remember the infamous one line uh, interception, where instead of going ahead and handing the rock off to Beast Mode and Marshawn Lynch, when you got in the backfield, who basically carved the Patriots D up for perhaps over a hundred yards, perhaps over a hundred yards. He goes ahead and tell Russell Wilson to throw a pass, which got intercepted by um, Victor Butler. I forgot the, the corner's name. I was going to say Malcolm Butler, but Victor Butler, I think. Yeah. You know, which basically had everybody infuriated, including me, because even I said, you don't throw a one yard pass in the end zone when you got Marshawn Lynch in the backfield. Reason speaking, and this is my analogy of that situation. If Marshawn Lynch was given the rock and he was he he, was, he scored, which I know he would, you know, everybody. Some people say like, oh well, you know, he was gonna grab his grab his balls and do like that. Nope. Marshawn Lynch was simply was going to. He knew they knew Marshawn Lynch would have simply got the MVP. And Marshawn Lynch would have would have said like he like they always say I'm going to Disneyland. No nah, man, I'm going to Africa. They didn't want that, and that's from Roger Goodell and and all so 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 on and so forth. So Pete Carroll screwed that one up. Now let's go into this season where it was some issues going on between him and uh, my good friend and Seattle cornerback Richard Sherman. You know, um, it was speculated a lot that he might have gone ahead and threw Sherman under the bus, which I doubt very seriously. And at the same time, it's like a little back and forth. So it's, it's some controversy going on with that. Now the latest with this, as y'all well know, that um, that. That few of the uh, uh, Seahawk players, including Russell Wilson, Michael Bennett, and Richard Sherman, had lobbied to bring Colin Kaepernick to Seattle, as well as a councilman, councilwoman. I'm sorry, my apologies. A councilwoman decided wants Kaepernick here as a quarterback to back up Russell Wilson, and Colin Kaepernick was looking forward to being here. It had kept him on the West Coast. I wouldn't mind being a backup. But this scumbite says 
said that the Seahawks won't sign Kaepernick at the time because he say he's a starter. But Kaepernick clearly said that he wouldn't mind he he don't mind playing backup to Russell Wilson. Do you realize what the potential would Seattle have? You have Russell Wilson start and they have Colin Kaepernick as backup. Dude, reminisce San Francisco 49ers in the 80s. Joe Montana, Steve Young, Steve Bono. That would have been that all over again. I mean, when I watched when I was watching it back in the 80s, I swear 80s and 90s, that was great football back then. Um, shoot, I've never seen a ball a football club that had three badass quarterbacks that didn't lose a step. Not even the Cheatriots couldn't even do that. All they got is Tom Brady. Jimmy Garoppolo, mm, average. Compared to Montana, Young, and Bono, uh-uh. But nonetheless, they said they refused to sign that. But instead, they go sign this other dude, Austin, whatever his name. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get into that story right now because this is just ridiculous. It's just utterly uh, ridiculous. Austin Davis. Okay, I was going to say Austin Myers. I don't know why I kept saying that. And, you know, this coming from NFL.com. I mean, CBS NFL, CBS Sports. I'm sorry. The C yeah, Seahawks signed Austin, quarterback Austin Davis and Kyle Kaepernick supporters are furious. Which is, a, which is fact. Now, the Seahawks have signed quarterback Austin Davis to compete for their backup position, which the team announced on um, Monday. This was, what, last week? No. Oh. Actually, this was yesterday. My bad. This was yesterday. In the speculation about Colin Kaepernick signing in Seattle. So Davis will compete for the number two quarterback position behind Russell Wilson, along with incumbent backup Trayvon Boykin, who served as um, the backup to Wilson 216, but who has not been that impressive on the field and has been decidedly unimpressive off of it. Because, you know, he's in charge with some um, with some um, domestic violence charge or something. The immediate reaction to this news is similar to the Cardinals signing Blaine Gabbard. Oh, God. Because everyone started freaking out that Colin Kaepernick was not the guy chosen to be Wilson's backup. As you can see with a lot of the tweets that you see here, you know, from Mike Freeman, NFL, the Austin Music Festival, Arrow to Austin Davis, Melissa Jacobs said... And here's another thing, too. She brought up something very, very good. You know they brought back Hank Williams Jr. to the, the kickoff Monday Night Football. Now, let's not forget. Um, I can tell you a lot about Hank Williams Jr. My dad used to love, love watching him when he's kick off Monday Night Football every Monday night. I didn't even mind him. And um, I had the pleasure at the Seminole Hard Rock Casino, which is down here in Hollywood, Florida, in Broward County, um, to watch Hank Williams perform. And he was saying something on there that was that was kind of real. Like, you know, I mean, a lot of people came to see him. He said, man, look, I got white friends, I got black friends, I got all type of friends and all that. And I said at that time, all right, you know. I ain't think nothing of it. I say cool, cause you know, you got some, you got white people that's, you got some white people that's that say that, you know what I'm saying? But they they not, um, suspected white supremacists. But you know, you have a few like that because I say all the time that not every white person is a white supremacist. You know, or white racist. I hate to use the term white supremacist because ain't nothing supreme about them. Anyway. <clears throat> During the years, he did say some comments about then uh, about President Obama. Yeah, I'm gonna still keep saying that, um, which basically got him booted off Monday Night Football. And to bring him back, this is all Roger Goodell because I think Goodell's probably fearing the possibility that in a, that viewership is gonna go down. Reason why? 
because this it because y'all they want to try to um I'm not gonna officially say it, but yeah, they trying to they systematically trying to blackball Colin Kaepernick. You know, Hank Williams Jr. brought back from hell. You brought back Hank Williams Jr., but you can't bring back Colin Kaepernick. And Kaepernick passed up for Austin freaking Davis. And it's not even 1.30 on Monday. <laughs> Buddy. And from 12 up, say the Seahawks just decided to sign quarterback Austin Davis instead of Colin Kaepernick. Yes, this is real life. No, you're not dreaming. I wish I was. And another, this is probably one of these trolls. Seahawks passed up on Kaepernick for Austin Davis. Bold. That ain't bold. Bold and dumb. And Mike Freeman again. Today a corpse was signed. The team said the corpse fits their system better than Kaepernick. And here's another troll from Sully. I don't want to mention their name. You'll see it. I really don't want Mike Freeman and NFL to have a stroke. But NFL is seem destined to make it so... Number one by not, by not signing Kaepernick. Well, I wouldn't call him a troll, you know, but he has a different opinion. So on and so forth. Perhaps that shouldn't be a surprise considering what Seahawks coach Pete Carroll said after Kaepernick visited the Seahawks last week. Then this is what he said at his press conference, saying Carroll said that Kaepernick is a starter in this league. Collins been a fantastic football player, and he's going to continue to be. At this time, we didn't do anything with it, but we know where he is and who he is, and we have a chance to understand him so much more. He's a starter in this league, and we have a starter, but he's a starter in this league, and I can't imagine that someone won't give him a chance to play. Really, Pete Carroll, are you that damn dense to see what's going on? You know, but I'm going to tell you something about that right there. This appears to be the same thing as not a backup in this league, which is something people aren't lending enough credence to. Having a quarterback who is very good as a backup is nice, but sometimes teams don't want attention on their backup quarterbacks. Kaepernick was going to get multiple press conferences if the Seahawks signed him. The only reason anyone cares about Austin Davis is because he's not Colin Kaepernick. And maybe the Seahawks have other reasons for why they don't want Kaepernick in the building. Either entirely unrelated to whatever Kaepernick is doing off the field. Either way, the Seahawks have decided to go with Davis over Kaepernick as the backup. And people will probably spend the next 24 hours or so melting down until the next backup is signed. Alright. Let me go back to this with this saying. What they mean by this here. See and and shout out to to my to my Florida brother uh, ninety three Sports News and you know he did a video on this too and see this mean right here this basically indicate right here that that you know that these crackers are on cold they on cold to make sure that nobody signs Colin Kaepernick they on cold for that and Pete Carroll just basically you know I mean. Uh, It, it, it's just it's just full of it his issue he said he won't sign Colin Kaepernick because he says that he's a starter now they want to focus on the stuff he does off the field well Colin Kaepernick isn't in, isn't breaking no laws. He's not breaking no NFL rules. He is um he ain't involved in no domestic violence. He's just doing charity work and, and putting in work for like a lot of inner cities, particularly black people. Roger Goodell is an idiot, along with Pete Carroll being an idiot and cowards. Because see, you better understand something. The majority of the people who who are your viewership when it comes to these NFL games are black. In a league where sixty to seventy percent of the players are black. Okay? And see this it goes right back to 
to, to a lot of these black uh, these black football players, they they need to be ashamed of themselves. They really do. They need to have several feet foots and boots to asses right about now. Because see, they didn't get out there and they didn't stand up for Colin Kaepernick when he took a knee for for them. Because he refused to stand up to that racist ass song called the National Anthem written written by Peckerwood Francis Scott Key. But nah, they too busy. Like Des Bryant said, they want to try to push their brand and all this other crap. And so on and so forth. A lot of these black athletes need to be ashamed of something. Now, I know some idiot gonna come in the com comment section and talk about, well shoot, you even got about LeBron James and all that. Fuck LeBron James. I'm not talking about him. No, I'm not doubting the work that he that he does. Like, you know, putting inner city children into college and paying for the scholarships, that's nice. Still haven't haven't had no questions about what happened with but with Tamir Rice, and I know to Prince GMO, I know you're going to say, yeah, you know, he probably not going to speak on that. It's chess, not checkers. I get that. I wasn't born yesterday. You know, I'm not going to get that. I wasn't born yesterday. But when it comes down to the, to the charity work and plus standing up for people and doing what Le LeBron can't hold a candle to Colin Kaepernick right now. I'm gonna tell you that right now, and this ain't no debate with the time. Both of them brothers got they do their thing though, but Colin Kaepernick really been putting in that work. And see, the thing about the difference is LeBron still got a job. Colin Kaepernick don't have one, but he's still doing a lot. But then again, here goes when I, when I had a problem with a lot of these black athletes these days. That, you know, they just comfortable at wanting to be a $40 million slave. You know. And yes, it is the fact, it's fact, that, you know, all the, all these pecker woods on code from Roger Goodell on down to the NFL owners on down to the white NFL coaches and assistant coaches and the coaching staff that ain't on code right now to make sure that Colin Kaepernick um, doesn't play in the NFL again. But they go ahead and sign a nobody like Austin Davis. That means it's going to be a white, it's going to be snowing in Miami this year. And I'm not even expected the sorry ass hometown Miami Dolphins. I know they not gonna do it. They always had a racist history, you know, because they don't want no um, a melanated person as their starting quarterback. I mean, if Dolphin fans, so-called Dolphin fans, know y'all, they forget about what how they did uh, fellow Ocala native um, Dante Culpepper. But Pete Carroll, man, I, I swear, in the famous words of Charlemagne, he, you really get the donkey of the day for that stupid ass statement that, oh, we, we can't sign Kaepernick because he's a starter. Where is he starting at? Huh? If he don't take his Alzheimer's disease ass, sit down somewhere. It has some Pepto Bismol. I don't know what the hell I can say about that. But we we know what's going on. But like I said, I said this once, and I'm I'm gonna say it again. This is my decree. I still support Colin Kaepernick, ten million percent, and I will. I'm refusing. I will not be watching. No, I'm boycotting the NFL. I'm not watching no NFL games. I'm not buying no NFL paraphernalia, no NFL hats, no jerseys, no sh nothing. Period. NFL Sunday ticket, kick rocks. Not even watching this shit. Not even, and that's what everybody need to do the same thing. Don't even buy season tickets. 
you know, don't even buy season tickets. You stand on the side of humanity and what's right, and you see what the hell is going on. This man here took a knee for us, he, you know. And now we can't get out there and support him. I even have a few friends I conversate with on social media, if y'all want, if I want to call them that, that still say that oh, well, Kaepernick he's an agent. Uh, he's a fraud. He's a sellout. He's a coon. I did. Me and my brothers did a video on that. You know. And, and like I said, and like my brother Poppy Bay had said, all you armchair revolutionaries, and you you um you keyboard RBG jokers, y'all need to have. You know, get you a vat of super glue. Put it in a lazy boy. Glue your behinds to the chair and shut up. Because you weren't about calling Colin Kaepernick all this. What the fuck are you doing for for your community? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing for your neighborhood? Go ahead, I'll wait. See, the problem is, see, niggas are so ready to want to get out here and talk shit. Just like I told a certain individual, so ready to get out there and talk shit. But the problem is, they ain't even got their priorities in order because they too much being a coward. Or basically, the fact of the matter that they have a personal dislike toward this man. You know. Because it, it even got to the point where hashtag Savage45 decides he wants to take credit that he doesn't he doesn't have a that Kaepernick doesn't have a job because of him because see idiots like Pete Carroll and a few and 32 other uh, 32 NFL owners were scared to get a nasty tweet from Savage 45 you know but like I said um, and myself Taurine Rain Ticket TV, 1LVZ Town Biz, uh, 93 Sports News, 78 Sports News, Super Bowl, <laughs> 223, and the ones who really support Colin Kaepernick, we said this, if he is assigned by August, and I've sp spoken to a few people on Black Spot, well, I'm over there too as well, um, we boycott, we boycott the NFL, and even if he is signed, we boycott it anyway. Because it's time, people, we got to let them know that we mean business. You want to go ahead and, and, and hurt these crackers bad? Hurt them in their pockets. That's how I do it. Kudos, though, like I say. I still support Kaepernick, and I'm boycotting the NFL. That's all I got to say. <laughs>